Mom brings boy who vandalized senior center in front of the camera to teach him a lesson. The world seems to have been upside down since the pandemic started, and there are times we can only get comfort at home among our family. But some of us don't have that luxury. There are a lot of people out there working essential jobs, or just not having a family or a place of their own anymore. Take for instance a senior center, the place where seniors spend their last years in peace and where they feel safe knowing they are taken care of. That was until some kids wreaked havoc at the Hancock House. Unfortunately, the seniors at the Hancock House haven't had a peaceful life this autumn when several incidents had shocked them all. Just a week before the incident with the kids, a senior that was waiting on the bus got shot with a paintball gun. The paint was red and although it didn't cause more than minor injuries, the senior was in shock and very afraid. You have a senior that just moved here from Memphis. He was terrified. He thought that he was shot, said the property manager of Hancock House, Arletha Patterson. So just a week after that incident, the kids showed up at the house and terrorized the residents. What those kids didn't know before planning their fun times was that very single move was caught on camera. What did they do? Let's see the footage. We know these times are tough and frustrating for everyone, even for kids. During the pandemic, kids can no longer enjoy sports or activities they regularly had within a group. Some get in trouble. No matter how miserable you feel, this doesn't mean you have to make someone's life harder. That was what Josh Sean would learn when he was brought in front of the cameras by his mother. What did he do? It was weekend when three kids stormed into the Hancock house and frightened the elderly. There was a senior that tried to stop them and they told her to shut up, says Arletha Patterson. Everything was caught on camera. But there's more. The three kids stole two fire extinguishers and that was not the only thing they did. They ran out and fired them at the brick on the house and then ran off in the area, said the senior citizens that live at the residence. They called the police. Chicago police came to see the footage and start the investigation. Then, the whole thing showed up on the local news. That's where Kiara Cunningham noticed that one of the three kids was her 10-year-old son. Arletha told reporters that she would like to talk to them and make them apologize to the seniors who they've terrified. Meanwhile, Kiara was stunned. She couldn't believe her son did this, and here's why. Kiara works as a security guard, so she was shocked that her son would do something like this. Her job was keeping buildings safe, so imagine her amazement. This is why she decided to teach him a lesson he'd never forget. That's my son. My son is on the news, she recalled in the interview, adding that she I replayed it again to make sure that I was seeing what I was seeing. I knew my child, Kiara said. I know his body and the way he walks from anywhere. So she decided the best way of action was walk her son back to the building and make him owe up to his mistake. You're going to go in there and apologize because you guys terrified those people, Kiara told her son, explaining to him that could have been your grandmother, that could have been me in there, you know? That's something you don't do. Josh On went to the senior center to apologize and explain himself. I'm sorry for coming into y'all place or take your stuff, Josh On told Arletha Patterson. How did the manager react when he came to the center? Okay, and I accept, humbly accept your apology, Patterson replied. When asked how he felt like when his mom got so mad at him, Josh On replied, sad. Then, Kiara added a few more details. I do my job, Kiara said, explaining that Josh On was at a place at the wrong time and he followed behind the wrong people. However, the property manager had a reaction Josh On might not have expected. To come here and see them both, I have nothing but love and respect for her, Patterson Smith said about Josh On's mother and we're here to help. So, Josh On received a gift that day. Josh On needed the right kind friends that wouldn't get him in trouble. So the property manager decided to help them out by teaming Josh On with Marlon Haywood, a mentor from the Urban Mail Network. Actually, Patterson is Marlon's aunt, so Josh On was in for a treat. I'm like, oh my god, that's my aunt's building, said Marlon when he saw the news. Then, he learned it was kids aged 8 to 10 and decided to help out. But Marlon wasn't angry. He was sad about what happened. It made me sad because when you look at the news and what's going on right now, 
You have the pandemic, the rioting, the looting, Marlon explained. I think it's important to understand they're still kids. So he decided to help. The pandemic has been a tough moment for kids that have single parents who have to go to work. So Marlon stepped up and decided to become a mentor. Now, he volunteered to be Joshon's mentor. Marlon had a few words to give to Joshon's mother as well. I know that all it takes is having the right people around you to kind of steer you in the right direction, said Marlon. What will they do? Marlon will be Joshon's friend. Together, they will play ping pong, pool, video games, and anything interesting, so that they can talk and spark Joshon's creative side instead of his destructive side. And that's just part of it. I told him the next time Lakers play the Bulls, I told him we're going to get tickets and go to the game, Marlon said. And Joshon now also has to stick around the seniors building as part of his apology. What will he do? Joshon will have to help keep the building tidy and pick up leaves at the senior center. This way, he will be able to get to know the seniors in the community. Urban Mail Network had been mentoring around 100 kids and teens from Chicago over the past years. It's good to know that Joshon will have someone that will help him find the right direction and stay out of trouble.